All right, folks. Another another video going on at the same time. What I wanted to show, um, as I said earlier, what's a shark bite? Where's my bag? Here's my bag. Oh, I wish I could flip this stupid camera over. So, this, that's a shark bite, kind of cool, let's see if I can set you guys up over here for a second, okay cool. So you gotta remember, sorry, shed is filled with crap all the Need that, that's the T fitting. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did I get did I not get what I oh I did get what I need to get. Okay. So these things are like gold. The um the neat thing about shark bites is this this cool little thing right there. I don't know if it will go. It will focus. Focus, focus. But what you can do with a shark bite is in the olden days, here let me get a let me get a fitting here really quick. If you wanted to join a pipe in the olden days, you had this piece of copper, of which you had to clean, you had to get emery cloth, and you have to get um, flux, and you have to heat the joint. You put the heat here, and this pipe heats up, and then when you put the solder around, this pipe wants to suck that solder up into this joint. The, the issue with this is, is you could not have enough flux and then not enough heat. That's the big problem with these. If you don't have enough heat, and the big thing is if this is wet whatsoever, this joint will not work. The water will create steam, and you will always have a leak in the pipe. A shark bite, however, what the shark bite does is that... it slides over. This is watertight. This is watertight. Now I haven't pushed it on all the way, but it's reusable. Yeah, I said it's reusable. This piece is reusable. So 10 years down the road, if you have a problem with more pipes, you shouldn't because it's CPVC. You do need to clean the joint. That's why you have emery cloth. That copper pipe that we're joining to, the reason why I didn't put it on all the way is because the joint is not clean. And it does need to be clean. But, so what happens, see if we can put you down here. So when this goes on, this just happens to be the three-quarter inch tool. I have to find my half-inch tool. But this is reusable. So if this were... Let me grab a three-quarter. Hang on. I have like a mini Home Depot in my basement. So this is a three-quarter fitting. This is the tool for the three-quarter. I don't know if you can see it or not. It says three quarter on it. Okay. But what happens is, is when this pipe is there and you want to remove, you want to remove this. Okay, this slides over the pipe. And what this does is this compresses this inner ring. It's very hard to do. This compresses this inner ring. And what it does with this inner ring. 
I could have steal it, I bought it already. What that inner ring does is it allows this to come off of the pipe. So if you want to reroute it or reuse this, this is 14, 16 bucks. This is expensive, but they don't leak. Not only do they do not leak, but I can reuse them. Not only can I reuse them, but I don't have to sweat the joint. I don't have to worry about making sure that the pipe is, is super, super dry. Um, I don't have to worry about heat from the torch. Um, all of those kind of things. So, next plumbing feature you go out, you'll find them everywhere. Shark bite. Okay? You'll find them every, in every hardware store, everywhere. I don't know where they were developed. I think California or maybe Canada. I don't know. All I know is these stupid little things, they work. And they work great. So, I have to take this pipe here. That's all rotted. And I'm going to take my shark bites. I'm going to I'm going to take my old pipe and I'm going to measure it up against the new pieces of pipe and I'm just going to create a pattern. That's all this pipe is. I'm going to recreate this piece of pipe. Okay? That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to shark bite it together, turn the hose on, turn the water back on in the house, wash some more clothes. Ooh. Just what you want to do. So, remember my mouth breathing mammals be kind, be gentle, be nice to one another. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.